We elected you to the positions we put you in. We put a trust in you. And to see the mayor abscond in his responsibility to protect this city is, to me, unconscionable and should not happen. Joseph Sellins feels it is up to him and others to get involved and take action. The fight starts here in this room. It starts with each one of us. He believes it is important to support the city council and the Alexandria Police Department. Willie Clark feels the city council is stuck in the past. Using the tools that we have available with, with our law enforcement people and it's also our responsibility to stand behind them and with them and to stand together with each other and not live in fear. Some form of social media be used so the citizens of Alexandria can witness these meetings and be a part of this meeting because everybody's not entitled to get off their job to be here. The city council voted to investigate the Alexandria Police Department. Mayor Jeff Hall made a statement regarding the investigation into the Alexandria Police Department. We are disappointed the city council has elected to conduct an unprecedented investigation into the work of the brave men and women of the Alexandria Police Department. Chief Howard and his staff have responded to every question the council members have asked, providing data directly from the computer-assisted dispatch system. Catherine Davison is asking for help from the mayor's administration. She is requesting he allots money for new police cars and equipment. I would like the mayor to call the sheriff and ask for some help so we have the, our zones covered for 90 days. I would like a robust recruiting um, platform, uh, both digital um, and uh, in person. The mayor and his administration plan to cooperate fully in the investigation. The city council's main goal is to protect the public and keep the city safe. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.